Okay, Rezo side. So it's definitely not quite as nice. It's definitely um, more worn. And I'm going to guess, because um, the guy I got it from, he used it without the bottom head for years. Now, he didn't abuse his drums. Um, they did some gigging in New York, but they, more or less these sat in one spot. So any of this, it's like a little bit dirtier and just a little bit more, um, I don't know what you want to call it, just a little bit more worn. As you can see, it's like not as clean. Okay, so there's a, there's a little flea bite. It's a little bigger than the other ones on the other side. Okay, see that? That's probably the worst of it. That is the absolute worst. Now you can see this is my pointer finger. So that's the, this is my thumb in relation. So it's not terrible, but it's not, you know, it is what it is. It's sort of like, actually, you know, what's funny is the, the little bearing edge feels slightly proud. So that might even be able to be filed down slightly. That nick is on the back side, So that might be able to be worked. Um, if you find that it's causing a buzz. But, you know, I'm running my finger along the top of this and, like, I'm stopping when I feel something substantial. You can see, like, little ones, little flea bites, but they're not bites. They're more like just slight dent. Um, so, yeah, that's the worst of it. That's why I, I'm negotiable on the price. Um, there's the overlap. Uh, so there's the overlap of the fr of the thing there and a little bit of like a dent. Now I think what they do is they would make a chamfer. Um, oh wait, no, it's not the chamfer. That's the lap joint. So that's why that looks like that. So here's our lap joint and we can see inside there, somewhere in there, this, this is like the old glue and that's the lap joint and that's why this is kind of a flat spot, you know? So we get this little Right, and they, they, it looks like they coincided that lap joint with the lap of the, um, of the, I don't know where the other piece is. Yeah, so we have our, um, our wrap here and here, and then one part of the wrap, they use that as the gusset for the tail end to try and minimize the bulge, um, but it is what it is. And then, uh, yeah, so that's the original glue lap part of the lap joint. And that's the only sort of weird spot, but the bearing edge feels good over that spot. You know, like I said, this bearing edge on this side is a little rougher than the other side, but there's no major anything. It's just generally slightly abused. I'm going to guess that you could probably... Um, sorry, I turned that sideways. Annoying video thing. Um, I'm going to guess you could rework this if you were really that fussed about it, but as is... Um, there's that tiger, that nice, uh, it's a really nice piece of maple they used for this. It's funny. It's probably just what they had. Um, yeah, so, and then the only other issue is, I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen this before, is you get this sort of like minor splitting where the lap joint is. I think that that's like as old as the drum. Like, I don't think, I think just from, you know, heating, steaming, and then bending these, I think that just has a tendency to happen. Because my old Slingerlands had the same thing. And I, I assure you, my Slingerlands were actually made way nicer than these. Um, but yeah, so it's like these kinds of little dents here and there, but they're not all up on this bearing edge. So I'm just gonna say this bearing edge on the bottom is definitely slightly more used than the top. Maybe more than slightly. It's definitely got more uh, more use and abuse than the top, but it's not trashed. It's just like, I would give it like, um, you know, if the top is an eight, I would give this a six. Um, you know, anything lower than five would be like dents that have to be dealt with or chips that have to be dealt with or recutting that needs. I think you could get away with not recutting this sparing edge and maybe just lightly sanding it. Um, I didn't really want to do anything to it. I figured whoever buys it's going to want to do all that refurbing. Anyway, hope these two long videos help you out. Cheers.